Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET Core and today we are going to fix this types of error message like that class uh, that is the project name dot uh, application DB context. So the error message is CS0311 and the error message is the type uh, service system dot model dot application user cannot be used as a type parameter. So application user is not like a type parameter. So it uh, cannot be used as a type parameter T user in the generic type or method identity DB context T user. There is a no implicit reference uh, conversions from system uh, service system dot model dot application user that is the namespace name with the class name that is application user to uh, the Microsoft dot ASP.NET Core dot identity dot identity user. So how to fix that type of problem in ASP.NET Core? So if you are, uh, you, if you know that identity DB context is actually existing in Microsoft dot ASP.NET Core dot identity packages, Microsoft dot ASP.NET Core dot identity dot identity framework packages. But you notice that your application user class is inherited with the identity user, but you notice that your package, that is the mismatch. The Microsoft ASP.NET, it's not an ASP.NET Core package of identity dot entity framework code. So just use ASP.NET Core instead of uh, ASP.NET. So you know that that is the correct package you have to install with your application user class. And you know that that is the dependencies error messages like that. So just you can just remove that package first. And after that, that correct package is like that. The correct package is Microsoft ASP.NET Core dot identity dot entity framework core. So just use, just copy that package and in your application user project that is the project that is the model project. So just you can use item group and you can just use this package references. So include microsoft.asp.net core.identity.entity framework code that is the version 7.0.8 that is the correct package and you notice that your application db context have removed that type of error message after adding the correct packages. So just save all these things and you can see that your packages will be your uh, uh, your error will be removed correctly. Okay so just remove this close all tabs and you notice that here yeah, there is a no deprecations in the models so here we have a microsoft asp.net core.identity packages and in the application user class is also have a identity user so just remove that package first of all and just resolve the problem control dot and the package is microsoft asp.net core.identity that is the correct package you have to install it and you can notice that your application DB context is the error message is removed. So thank you very much uh, guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET.